if your current followers aren't being active or engaging in your content then it's not going to be pushed out there for more people to see hey guys welcome to my channel so does posting on instagram daily help you gain sales and followers before i get started with this video i just want to say hey if you're new here my name is donna i make fashion videos and i would love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below and also give this video a thumbs up if you do find it helpful so to give a little background i launched my store on september 9th and ever since september 9th i've been posting between one to six times a day i posted well when it comes to posting six times for the day i did that like the first and second day that i launched my store because i wanted my instagram feed to have a little more stuff on it i announced that i was launching my store like a couple weeks before I actually launched everything so I was able to build a following of like a hundred like around 112 111 followers and those followers I believe were just straight from my YouTube channel which I'm super super grateful for I'm so grateful for all of you like I see a lot of my subscribers on my business page always commenting and supporting we just support each other like each other's pictures comment so it's just a really nice you know it's really nice to have that didn't post daily before I launched my store I only posted like here and there and then once I launched on September 9th that's when I started posting so overall before I go into like the data and everything I just want to let you guys know that I found that posting daily and multiple times for the day actually did not help me to increase sales or increase followers I noticed and there are still some days now where I just don't make any sales and I'm posting multiple times a day but I do find that even if people aren't purchasing it does increase website traffic and something else that I do want to talk about too in this video is that I really believe that Instagram is many small business owners are struggling because of the Instagram algorithm and I'm not saying that you need Instagram in order to have a successful business but it definitely does play a huge role because Instagram is our tool for marketing most of the time so I definitely have to say like a lot of the times I noticed that even when I would post at the times that Instagram said that my followers are most active I still noticed that I still wouldn't get that much post interaction like my impressions and my reach was still not that great so I don't know if I could de depend on that part of Instagram's analytics and I have to say that I noticed that on my regular Instagram account like my main Instagram account as well like for I believe like for a month or two like especially during the summer I was posting every single day on Instagram and I noticed that it actually wasn't doing that much for me like I think I did gain more followers than I normally would have if I didn't post as much but it still wasn't anything significant like I don't I don't know how to really describe it but and that's why I was testing it out on Instagram as well because I wanted to see because my my main Instagram I do have a business Instagram account for my main Instagram so I'm able to see the analytics and everything and I purposely used my main Instagram to see how I would reach people and stuff like that if hashtags worked and I really noticed that hashtags didn't really make a huge difference in in my instagram account at all and something that i did learn too is that it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing like it doesn't matter like the the people that could potentially find your instagram page it does not matter what they're doing first you have to look at your followers and the in the interaction and engagement that you're getting from your current followers because if your current followers aren't being active or engaging in your content then it's not going to be pushed out there for more people to see and i find that some hashtags can actually be effective but you just have to find the right hashtags and i get so annoyed when i hear people saying that but it's actually so true you have to know what hashtags to use you can't use hashtags that are so highly populated that have like 1 million people using it and stuff like that you need the ones that have like a hundred a thousand a few thousand you don't want to use an overpopulated hashtag because then your picture is most likely not going to be found anyways and when you have a business Instagram you are able to see like the analytics and stuff behind it so if you don't have a business Instagram I definitely recommend you get one 
just so that you are able to see the analytics behind like all of your posts and everything like that so when it comes to the analytics when you click on the post insights you see how many likes comments shares and um, saves are on the photo that basically lets you know how people are interacting with the photo you also can see the product button clicks so if you do have the product tagging enabled on your Instagram you will be able to see how many people actually clicked on the product tag to view the product details and everything there's also the interactions the profile visits and um, the discovery which tells you how many follows you got from a post which I think that is also really telling if you got if you gain followers from a, po a picture that you posted or a video that you posted then that just shows that it did reach a wider audience maybe someone who was viewing the hashtags found your photo and they really liked your page and everything so they decided to just follow you and this is also a great way for you to see which hashtags are actually working for you so to go a little deeper you could click insights on your your um profile page and then it shows you how many followers you've gained in the last seven days. It also tells you about how many accounts you have reached along with the content interactions and the total number of followers. And you could even go, you could go in deeper by just clicking on these and you could view the data on each. It also shows you like the top posts and your top stories the account activity, the amount of website clicks that you got. So this little experiment that I did, I could definitely say like the results that I got from it, I already knew, I kind of already expected it because I feel like Instagram over the years has made it a lot harder for small businesses and just people in general who want to reach more people, they made it harder for us because they want us to pay for our marketing. In one of my next videos, I'm going to do that experiment. I'm going to do Facebook ads and then I'm going to test it out and see if any of it converts into sales, website clicks or whatever. So I'll probably do that video soon. I think I'll do like at least a week of it to see, test it out and see. I hear a lot of mixed reviews when it comes to it so I really don't know what to expect. I remember trying it out. I remember trying it out in the past. I was able to reach a larger audience but I really didn't find it to be effective so hopefully i could find something that really works and then i just continue to grow with it if you have any tips on how to grow on instagram definitely leave them in the comments down below and just know that just because you have a small following on instagram doesn't mean that you can't make sales you could still make sales with a small following and having a large following doesn't mean that you're automatically going to get sales you have to have the right demographic and the right connection with the potential customers so do not be discouraged thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video